Hey guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would take just a second to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified as soon as I upload a new video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the FabFitFun Summer Edit Sale. Um, it opened today for annual subscribers and it looks like it closes on June 20th at noon Pacific time, or no, midnight Pacific time, I think. Um, okay, so I'm just going to scroll through and show you everything that is available. Um, I was able to get on here right as the sale opened, but I literally had 10 minutes. Um, I had to get out my door to an appointment. So right now I have 54 items in my cart. Um, but that was just my initial, like, pass-through. What I do with the edit sale is I go through and just add anything to my cart that I think that I'm at all interested in. And then after the initial, you know, pass-through, that excitement is over, then I go through my cart and see what I actually want to buy and what I don't want to buy. So that way, um, that does two things. One... I don't have to spend a ton of time refreshing for the things that I do decide I want. Although it's inevitable, I will end up refreshing for things because I'll either find something later that I do want or I will delete something in my cart on that first pass through and then I will regret it and go back in and try to get that item. But it's just the way I shop these edit sales and add-on sales. It's what I've always done, so I just get on and add everything that I think that I want it all, and then go through and delete things. Now, I'm not one of those people who holds the items until the end of the sale or anything crazy like that. Like tonight, I'll go in here and go through and delete the things that I don't want. But um, it's just the way I shop the sale. So if you are not familiar with the FabFitFun edit sales and add-on sales, how they work is... You'll see all these different items on here, obviously, as I'm scrolling through. Um, and the button, the big red button that says add to cart. So you basically push add to cart. And if it's in stock, you'll be able to add it. And you are allowed to add up to three items if it is in stock. So as I'm scrolling, you'll see a few things that say like, like the sugar right here, for example, it says one, but the red plus button is lit up there. So I could add a second one. Like I'll add a second one here just to, just to show you. And then if I add a third, that'll say three max. So that is the maximum amount that you are allowed to add of anything. And if there's something that only lets you, if it says one max or two max, that just means that there's no more in stock currently. But um, you will be able to later on add more as people drop things from their cart. So one of my tips for the FabFitFun sale is see the heart at the top of each. It's the top right hand corner. If you click that heart item, it goes into your favorites category. So if there's something that you want that is out of stock, it'll put it in your favorites and then you can just go to the favorites category and refresh there and check back there to see if things come back in stock so you don't have to like scroll through this massive line of products just to have a chance at getting you know those one or two items that you may have seen that have gone out of stock that you want to pick up so I highly recommend if as you're shopping the edit sale and this also applies to their like add-on sales as well. But if as you're shopping, you see something that is out of stock, do not give up hope. It will probably, more than likely, like there's a 99% chance that it will come back in stock for you later on. Um, so just put, click that little heart so that it goes into your favorite category. And then you can check back for it later there. Um, the other thing that's a little bit different with the FabFitFun sales versus other companies that have sales like this is once it is in your cart, it is yours and you do not have to check out. So the sale, uh, like I said, it goes, I think it's four more days, four and a half days or something. 
Um, so on the day that the sale ends, anything that is in your cart will be billed to you. That's both good and bad. So if there's if you forget about your cart, like if you look at the top corner of my screen, it shows I have 56 items in my cart right now. Um, I think you can see that right now. But um, anyways, I have 56 items in my cart. If I, for some reason, completely spaced it and forgot about my cart, I would be billed for everything in my cart right now, which I definitely do not want to purchase everything in my cart right now. So you have to be very careful with your cart. Um, every season, without fail, as soon as the sale closes, there's people on the message boards or whatever complaining about how they just got a huge charge from FabFitFun and they don't understand what happened. Um, but what happens is anything that is in your cart at the close of the sale is yours and you get billed for it. So uh, I really do like the FabFitFun sales better than other companies because I like to add things to my cart and think about it. Okay, now I'm just gonna stop what I'm saying here real quick. And these, we're getting into the out of stock items here. So everything from here below is gonna be out of stock currently, but that doesn't mean that it's gone for good. Because uh, like I was saying, everything is just in people's carts right now. Like nobody has checked out, nobody has committed to buying anything. Just all these items that are out of stock are currently in people's carts. So as soon as somebody drops something out of their cart, it will go back into stock so that you can add it to your cart or I could add it to my cart. So that is how that all works. Um, I really like this type of sale because I like to think about things. I don't want the stress with BoxyCharm. You have to check out really fast or things are going to sell out. So if there's something that I want from a BoxyCharm, like their add-on sale or their pop-ups, I have to get on there and without really having time to think about it, add the thing into my cart and check out right away so that I can guarantee that I'll get it. I have had, with BoxyCharm, things sell out as I was checking out. So with the way this sale is, I can add it to my cart, I can think about it, I can look up reviews on it, and then as long as you remember to remove the things that you don't want from your cart before the sale is over, you are good. Like, it's guaranteed yours once it's in your cart. Now, there's a few times where things are not guaranteed, but that's the exception, not the rule. Like, they'll be at the end of the sale, they may have oversold a few things. So some people might get an out-of-stock email saying, we're sorry, we oversold this item. We can't charge you for it. But that's rare. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I've seen people complain about it happening. But for the most part, if it's in your cart and it is in your cart at the close of the sale, then you will be billed for it and you will get that item. So I'm just continuing to scroll here. We should be getting close to the end of the out of stock items here. Okay, look at that. And now I'm going to show you, if you click on the little lines on the side, the fourth thing down here says my favorites. So if you go into that, um, it shows you the items. Now this 10 degrees cooler oil, it's not really something I wanted. It was just I showed you how to heart the item there. But um, anyways, these three things are still out of stock, but you can refresh and it's kind of a game. Um, you'll become addicted to hitting that refresh button and seeing you've got to be really fast when things come back in stock because it's literally somebody dropping it out of their cart, deciding they don't want it, and you've got a split second before anybody else sees that it's back in stock and adds it to their cart. Uh, so yeah, that is the refresh game. And yeah, so the out of stock will light up as add to cart if it comes back in stock. And I can also show you my crazy cart right now. Right now I have $725 worth of stuff in my cart. But like I said, this is not anywhere near my final cart. In fact, there's very few things in the sale that I am dying to have. So my cart is going to be cut very drastically. But like I said, I do. This is just the way I shop the FabFitFun sales. I enjoy adding everything that I could possibly want 
and then going through after that. So anyways, that is the FabFitFun summer edit sale. Those are all the items that are available both in stock and out of stock currently. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.